everybody it's lauren brown also known as raggedy royal on instagram twitter tiktok and now youtube and today we're gonna be doing these fiery colored brows yes i have another color brow tutorial as well but i just wanted to show like the cool ombre here because you like i had to use different colors not just one color but if you want to know how to do one color color brows i have a blue tutorial um a little bit down on my page so just like the updated version. Also, if you want to see how I did the rest of the face, I also have a video up on that at the same time. So go check that video out as well. And we're going to jump right into the video. Give it a like, subscribe if you learn anything, and let's jump into it. You want to do your color brows before you do your face. Don't, don't, like, sometimes I, sometimes I let y'all get away with it. I let myself get away with doing eyeshadow before face, I mean, face before eyeshadow. Sometimes, you know. You cannot get away with doing your face before your color brows. All right, let me say this. The best case scenario that you have your hair out just so that you can make sure you have the colors perfectly matched, but my Flexi Rod curls came out in all different directions. So I had to reset. But let's get started with the brows. So the first thing you're gonna need is a light concealer. So this is the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer in Porcelain. I like a concealer that is super, super light so that the color can show up, but also a concealer that's leaning more towards white, just so that it's not, it doesn't have those yellow, pink, brown orange undertones that's going to mix with our color and it's just going to make it harder so i'm using this one i think it's like three dollars on the walmart website first thing you're going to do is brush your brow hairs up and the reason i do this is because once the color is on like brushing it is just gonna, it's going to be a lot so just make sure that all your brow hairs are sticking up in one direction it just makes it a clean, easier cleaner application so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the brow hair right i mean the concealer right to the brow hairs All right, so you want to make sure that you get the brow hairs covered completely and evenly. It doesn't have to be cleanly because we're going to, you know, clean up the perimeter. So if you go off base, that's fine. You want to make sure that you get the brow hairs covered evenly just because when you apply the color, you'll see that if you kind of got some concealer chunky in some places and not enough in other places, that's going to mess up your color payout. And then you're going to be like, why does the color look crazy? Because you don't have an even amount of concealer on your brow. So just go back and fix that before you start putting on color just so that you can, you know, skip that clean it up and trying to redo it step later oh, also why i do not put on brow gel first i don't laminate the brows because if i laminate the brows are going to be laying flat and when you put the color on top of it it's going to look like one color block you kind of need the hair definition to you know not make the brows look like red shriek or like colored shriek and make it look like actual eyebrows so that's why i don't brow gel them first i just brush them up first because i don't want them to lay too flat and i want it to have that definition of hairs so that you know it looks like oh my gosh she dyed her brows no, I did not. Anyways, let's get into the actual coloring. This is a pretty easy technique. It's gonna be pretty quick. This is my Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette 2.0. It's my favorite palette right now, especially for colors. Now, as you can see, I've beat the colors up. Why? Because I've been doing colored brows. So I know that my hair is a bright red and I have orange in the front. So I'm going to ombre it with a little orange in the front and then do the red. Um, going from like bright red to like a browner red and i'll show you exactly how i'm going to do that so i'm going to start with the middle i always start with the middle just because i feel like it's easiest to blend when you start with the middle it's easier to blend uh the light shades and the dark shades so i'm going to take shade brick and i'm going to add a little bit of flame just because i know my hair right now is a bright red my little flame right here and we're going to start in the middle of the brow Anyways, I'm taking a Morphe M224, which is just a flat brush. I like a flat brush with a little thickness to it when I add my color in the middle. So I'm just going to pat that. You're not going to swipe it because if you swipe it, then you're going to move the concealer. It's going to be a mess. So you're going to pack it on with literal pats. Then we're going to the other eyebrow. This might be a little bit too orange. Instead of flame, I really meant to go into this one right here, which is called Wild, which is the actual bright red. So let's just go into the red. <laughs> a little too orange. 
that's the only thing about colored brows. You really gotta pay attention to undertones and such because it look crazy once you take your hair out. But not the drill. If you hear people banging in my house, it's because of renovating. And you know, if you want freedom, you have to take it. Harriet Tubman took it. So I just decided to start recording this tutorial in spite of the noise. So I'm so sorry. And I hope you can focus. Amen. Okay, now to deepen up my reds when I do my red brows, I use brick right here, which is red, a little bit of brown, and a little bit of purple. Okay, that's what gives the red the depth. If I do red and a little bit of brown, sometimes it doesn't give exactly what I need. If I want a little bit of deepness, I'm gonna use a little bit of purple. I swear, color, I'm a color nerd, y'all know this. Color theory is my thing. But when I do my red brows, I'm like, wow, I'm using shades that I wouldn't even think to use. So, glad I made this video so you can see. A little bit of red, I mean, a little bit of brown, a little bit of purple. If you want your hair to be more towards the magenta, more towards the purple side of your hair is more towards that like blue tone red, you're gonna add more purple. If it's more towards that orange tone red, you're gonna add more brown. Yeah. My hair is kind of like a little bit in the middle, I think. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of both. And we're gonna go into the tail. There's gonna be a disconnect. You see, there's gonna be a disconnect. That's what blending is for, and we'll get there in a second. Padding onto the tail, just like we did before. Also, I just got my roots done yesterday, so my hair doesn't need, I mean, my eyebrows don't need as much of that dark color on the end of the brow, just because I just got my hair done, so my roots aren't growing in black. But as your roots grow in darker and darker, like, you're gonna make your eyebrows a little bit darker. So this uh, dark color right here will probably take up a little bit more of the eyebrow, just because it, the roots are in. So it's like, if you have super, super bright brows and you have darker hair, like, your brow should be a little bit darker than your eyebrows or complete or match, but they should be a little bit darker. So if I have them lighter, then sometimes it looks crazy. So you add a little bit more of that dark shade as your roots grow out. Thank me later. I'm gonna take the shade Brick, which is our medium red, and just start a, kind of start blending that. How I blend that is I just start patting on top of that other shade. Cause you can't really swipe. It's not like eyeshadow. Ooh, now this, y'all getting this? Make sure my camera's still recording. Y'all getting this? This right here? This is a great brow. This one over here needs a little bit more help, but once you lay the perimeter off, you can kind of <laughs> see it better. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna start working towards the front of the brow, and I don't really wipe off the brush too much, just because I'm, this is how I'm blending the colors. So if it's a, imagine it being a little bit of yellow on your brush, and you're trying to make a lime color. So instead of wiping the yellow off, you're gonna tap into the green. And then it's gonna make the line because you're mixing yellow and green. I don't really, I don't really tap it off after every single thing. So I'm gonna take the shade Flame, which was that orange from before, and a little bit of um, Wild, which is that bright red. And I'm just gonna start going towards the front, and I'm gonna go right to the bottom of the brow for real. And the reason why I do this is because on your real eyebrow, that's where you add like more hairs, just so that. Um, the brow fills out in the front so that when you, you know clean it up it looks good You always add a little bit right here just a little bit not too much So I'm gonna add that here um, And then I'm gonna start blending up with a little bit of orange because the front of my hair is orange I did leave a little bit out so you can kind of see it, but I don't want it to look um, like orange red or like I want it to look like an ombre so I'm gonna go into shade Calypso and a little bit of fire and I'm gonna go into the front. Now, if your hair is all one color, right? Imagine your hair is all one color, it's all red. What you wanna do is you wanna go in with an orange or a pink, but not too much. And you'll see what I mean. But yeah, red was kinda of hard because like with the other shades, I could do, when I had blue hair, I would just do like a baby blue. When I had green, I would do like a baby green. 
I do like a lime green or a pale green or a pastel green. But with red and pink, like those are two different colors. You do a light red, that's pink now. So that's a different color. And it's like sometimes you don't want pink browns. So what you want to do is add a little bit of white to the front. You're going to have to add a little bit of pink just so it could be the ombre or a little bit of orange. It just depends on which uh, shade of red your hair is. Because, you know, some reds is like if I add yellow to the, I mean, if I add white to this, this is going to go straight to pink. If you add white to the other type of red it's gonna go straight to like a coral orange color so you can just use those not too much but like you don't want to put red right in the front of the brow the same red you got right here because it's not going it's that's not how you do your real brows when you do your real brows you know you feather it out you add a little bit of brown here more brown here and a lot more brown here so same same concept same concept so i'm gonna add a little bit right here And you know, sometimes I feel I feel real ignorant and real bold because I got a little orange in front of my hair. So I can add a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow right here. I don't know why it's so beat up. I think I was trying to make a um, eyeliner. Y'all know I'm always trying to make eyeshadow do multi-purpose things. <laughs> so add a little bit of yellow right there. And you see, this time I'm gonna blend, I'm going back over with the orange. All right, now I'm going back in with that bright orange and going right here, just cause I'm trying to make a little bit of an ombre. This left brown, crown jewel right here. Crown jewel. Go with these shades and patting and blending and patting and blending and patting and blending. This brow right here is amazing. Now to clean it up. Now, let me tell you something. And I might cut this clip and put it in the beginning. You wanna do your color brows before you do your face. Don't, don't, like, sometimes I sometimes I let y'all get away with it. I let myself get away with doing eyeshadow before face, I mean, face before eyeshadow. Sometimes, you know? You cannot get away with doing your face before your color brows. It's, it's a no-go. Because first of all, look how much mess it is. And then the way to clean it up is, you're gonna need a makeup wipe. Don't try to use a concealer. If you try to use a concealer, you're gonna be doing this all day long. One, because especially with red eyeshadows, red eyeshadows get everywhere. There has not been a messier color brow that I've done, and I've done all of them, than the red one. The red will get, it will blend into everything. So adding concealer is just gonna make a pink mess. You're gonna be frustrated. You need to remove the color off your face. Do not try to, you look at how much stuff you have to clean up. Do not try to do that with concealer. It's just gonna, it's gonna blend in and you're gonna be pissed. So what you're gonna do is, and if you have a long nail, shout out to long nails girls. You're gonna wipe, you're gonna wrap your wipe around your nail or around your finger. I just like doing it around my nail when I have nails cause it's like precision tip. Let me get a mirror out. And I like to start with the bottom, right? So what you're gonna do is go along the arch of your eye. And as you can see, it's still messy. I, it's still messy, it's still not clean. So imagine doing this with concealer. Do your color brows before you do your face. And I'm not playing, I'm literally not playing with y'all. All right, wipe. And then look, you see how it is, you know, down here? It's no biggie, cause all I have on is moisturizer and a little bit of primer. So I can just wipe it off. But imagine having your whole face. Don't do that to yourself, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm so dead serious about that. Like, that's not a suggestion. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off more on the bottom. I don't like it to be too much um, eyeshadow off, off of the brow hairs. So I don't want it to be super thick and the brow hairs are thin. I, I want it to go along the brow hairs. You're gonna need to apply some pressure when you're wiping this uh, eyeshadow off, especially red eyeshadows. Like red eyeshadows, you can't be nice to. You can't just be like, oh, no, you need to apply some pressure and get it off of you because it will get everywhere. Just like red hair dye, everywhere. I think I'm gonna make a video about my hair journey, like just talking about my hair colors and all of that. So let me know if y'all be interested in that. Cause I just want to talk about it. Yeah. 
I might need to add a little bit more red to the tail just to get a perfect match, but we'll see in a second. So now I'm gonna start on this brow. Make sure I get that little front part. I hate when brows are like, and really why brows are like that is because they're diagonal. Like if you just wipe off that little front part and make it more straight, then your brows will be less like, I see a lot of pro makeup artists do their clients like that. We have like a diagonal front of the brow. It's just not my style. I think it makes you look angry. Now let's start wiping off the top and I'm still gonna clean it up with concealer. And do an entire face, but we're saving a lot of product. I know your concealers be expensive. Product time and peace. I was gonna look in a far mirror when I do my makeup because up close it look like one thing, but I need to see what it looks like afar. Up close I can see all the details, but from afar I can see the concept. Like, oh girl, those eyebrows are not even. <laughs> those eyebrows are not even. Up close it might be a little bit too close to see. Get you a little far mirror when you do your makeup, when you get ready. It'll tell you what's real and what's not. It's like I want to cut this part out and be like, okay, I'll be back and I'll just show you what it looks like when it's done. But I feel like I kind of need to stick with y'all through this because you might be like, oh, this is taking me forever. It's also taking me forever. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't want to abandon you during this part. So skip ahead a little bit if you want to see what it looks like um, done. But I'm going to hang around for the people who, you know, I want you to see, you know, me take it off and, and fix it. Not fix it. I'm not even taking anything out. What am I talking about? Me fixing, you know, all the colors. Like, oh, I need a little bit more on the tail. Same about ombres. These guys keep on going in. I also need a new makeup wipe. I'm gonna speed it up though. When I say I'm not gonna leave you, I mean I'm not gonna cut it out and then just come back. But I'm gonna speed it up though. <laughs> Nobody wanna watch that for 50 minutes. Also, a far mirror will snitch on you about what part has like too much eyeshadow, but like what part isn't even. Cause you can only see it conceptually, like you're not seeing it, you know, the small details. You only see like, oh, that part is so bright and the other part isn't. But anyways, okay, here are the finished colored brows. I'm going to come back with a full face so you can get the whole concept. Also the full face of makeup that I'm doing is going to be another video. So, you know, if you just want to look like me today, you can do the brows and the... We've been in renovations for weeks. It's been a dark time. <laughs> but um, you can do the brows and the face makeup. So I'll be back in a couple seconds and show you what it looks like. All right, everybody, here are the final brows. And I didn't have to really add no different color. As soon as I took the, the um, bangs down, it matched perfectly. So I'm very, very, very proud of them. Let me know on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, if you tried this color brow tutorial and you learned anything, give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. Also, if you wanna see how I did this entire full face, I have a video up on that as well. So yes, I'll check you out on my other socials at Raggedy Royal on all other socials. And I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe and stay for more. Bye.